Hello and welcome everyone. This is Grant Bulwark with Skyrim Project Stability. Uh, I'm here to talk to you guys today about setting up CleanMem to effectively eliminate memory related freezing. Now, if there is only a few steps in order to do this. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, go ahead and install CleanMem. Make sure you're all set up as far as that goes and then just follow me. Uh, first thing you're going to do is type in CleanMem. And as soon as I type in clean, it pops up as clean mem settings. That's what you're trying to get to. I'll allow it to run as administrator. Now, uh, the clean mem settings wizard should pop up. Everything is going to be left on default except for steps three, which we're going to use an only list, and step four. But for now, let's focus on step three. Now, in the only list category, you need to manually type in tes5.exe as shown here. Now, as you can see, I do not have skse underscore loader exe nor any other exe inputted into this field. Only the game's executable file should be in this only list. Uh, you can use this program for other things. Uh, you can put any program you want on this only list, but for the purposes of this, TES5EX.exe needs to be in your clean mem settings wizard only list. Now, the next step you need to take is press install clean mem task schedule. That'll bring up the command prompt momentarily and it will effectively install the program so it will work. Uh, to its default values. What we need to do is edit those default values, specifically the interval of time in which the program will switch on, uh, trim your working set, and then switch back off. Now, by clicking on Edit the Clean Mem Task Schedule, you open up your Task Scheduler library. Now, it's not just Clean Mem that is in this library. Lots of things from your computer are displayed here, but you are looking for in the left pane, click the task scheduler library, and you are looking for clean system memory. Now, as you can see, by double clicking, we have full uh, control over everything that this program does, but I wouldn't recommend messing with it too much other than these two triggers. Now, the at startup for me. It delays for two minutes and repeats every two minutes. That's where I like it. That's where I've kept it. That is for extreme duress on your system, though. You do not need to use this if you crash every hour, say. You wouldn't need to set it for every two minutes. You would set it for something closer to every 15 or every 30 minutes. Um, rule of thumb, if you're crashing every 15 minutes, set it up for 10 minutes. If you're crashing every 10 minutes, set it up for 5 to 7 minutes. It'll vary from case to case, of course. Uh, just make sure that your values from at startup and at task creation all read the same amount. Then you press OK and you X out of this and select finish and you are done. CleanMem will now work as it uh, was promised in the guide.